So today I just want to make a quick video about the reliable energy system that Thor is putting in the vans. This is a Thor Sanctuary 19 PT. It's on the Ford Transit chassis. I want to go from start to finish so you can see right now nothing is turned on. Microwave is not on. Fridge isn't on. So the van is completely powered down and I'm going to go to the back and get it turned on and show you guys all the steps. So back here at the back of the van, you have this closed off area that houses most of the master bolt stuff. Just so I can show you through here, this is your inverter. Um, it does have an on off button and a reset switch in case you're having any problems. That's where they're located. You just have to reach through and you can just barely reach those buttons. This piece in the middle of the van is your batteries. So this is a 400 amp hour system which is roughly like 5,500 watts of energy. And then over here is your um, battery disconnect switch. So in order to turn your battery on, you need to start at your disconnect switch. It is two things. You have to push in the middle as you turn. Make sure that stays depressed in and that will connect your batteries to to the hot like to the whole system so after you hit your switch in the back and turn on your batteries you want to come back over here to your main power switch turn on the batteries to the house this will turn on all your outlets your fridge you can look up here now and well you can't really see the microwave lights microwave is on fridge is on Turn on your master volt control panel. Sometimes it comes on by itself when you turn everything on. You can see we have no warning lights or nothing. Gives you 96 battery, or gives you a battery percentage. We're at 96%. Tells us that we are inverting power. And this, just to mention this 15 amp, if you're using this on your house outlets, go ahead and change that to 15 for your input. If you're going if you're at like a campground, change it to 30. So this is a 30 amp van, but you don't want to run 30 amps if you're just plugging into your house outlet, like a standard outlet. You want to down it to 15 amps. I made that mistake when I first started and I was tripping my circuit breaker in my house by doing that. And then this last screen, it does show you the alternator. So alternator, this is an option to charge your batteries while you're driving. So right now it's in standby and turned off, but if we were driving and we needed to get a charge, flip that switch to on. So talking about the inverter. So inverter is only required for AC outlet. So like a normal household outlet. Also your microwave. If I turn this off, You'll notice microwave turned off. If you don't need to run your microwave or your AC or use household outlets, it's best to like try and run without the inverter on anyway because the inverters take energy. Just to help demonstrate what I'm talking about when I talk about the inverter taking extra energy, I'm gonna use my EcoFlow um, this is an additional power station and one kilowatt of energy that I bought just to kind of supplement the system. It also came with 200 watts of solar panels that I can plug into the van or plug directly into the to this power station right here. So I'm running just a simple USB powered fan right now. You can see it takes about nine watts of energy and this is indicating there's 72 hours left of time. This is running it on USB, which USB is DC. If I go ahead and unplug this, I put it into, I put the USB into a AC adapter and then I had to turn on the inverter and I plug this into the AC power. So this is using an inverter to convert the direct current into alternating current. Alternating current is what's in your normal house. So you can see running the same fan, Looking at like 36, like less than, we'll just call it less than 40 because it kind of bounces around. It goes a little bit above as soon as I talk about it. But anyway, 
you can see what was 72 hours on direct current is now somewhere in the realm of 40 hours. So we lost 30 hours of battery power just by using an inverter. So that's kind of works the same for the for the van too. If you can run something direct current, run it on the DC outlets. And DC outlets are the USBs or those 12 volt like the cigarette lighter looking ones. And then if you have to use AC, you have to use AC, but just know that when you run AC, you have to have a machine that actually takes that energy from your battery and turns it into something usable, and it's called inverting. So on the screen with the inverter, this is inverter off. You can see running the DC stuff, which takes a little bit of the charge. That goes now the fridge is on and whatever, but I'm still positive 7 amps call it like six amps so that's somewhere around like 80 to seven, 70 to 80 watts an hour i'm positive right now so my solar panels are putting in energy and i'm gaining battery power if i flip the combi master to on it takes just a second the inverter will click over you hear the fridge beep in the background because now the fridge or not the fridge the microwave i'm sorry so now i'm inverting microwave is on come over to the house battery I lost like an amp hour, maybe more than an amp hour. So you can just see another, just kind of showing the fact that having your inverter on is gonna rob you of energy. And even if you're not using nothing, cause I'm not using anything, I'm not running anything off of it, but I'm losing energy because of it. If this battery temperature gets to zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, these batteries will not charge. So lithium ion batteries will actually become damaged. They become, I can't remember what it was, but they get like a, a metal plating that starts to form on the inside, so they end up damaging themselves if they charge below zero degrees Celsius. This van, this system, it does have a heater underneath it, but the heater I've found only runs if you plug it into shore power. But the heater will heat up the batteries to above zero Celsius and then it'll allow them to charge. So if you're having trouble with that, just Warm up your van, warm up the back, get your house batteries above zero degrees, and then you'll start to be able to get a charge from them. Another thing worth mentioning, the alternator is the only connection point between the back of the van and the drivable part of the van. Otherwise, you do not need to have the front of the van on to use the back or the back on to use the front. You can drive this van with everything shut off, it doesn't matter. And then obviously if you're camping somewhere, you do not have to have anything in the front turned on in order to run the back. This is the only crossover point, it's just this alternator that helps charge it. Now when it comes to shutting it down, I like to just do the same steps, just in basically a reverse order. So I'll turn off the inverter here. I just flip it to off. You'll hear it power down. I've already turned it to off. I'm going to leave this actually running right now, just to top the battery off 200% while it's nice and sunny out. But your next step would be turn off your power to the house, and then final step, go to the back and flip the battery disconnect switch to off. Don't think that you have to, don't feel like you need to always switch it to off all the time, but lithium ion batteries have cycles, like a charge, so many cycles of charging before they kind of deplete themselves. So by switching the back battery, get this pretty full and switching the back battery to off, the battery disconnect switch to off then you won't charge it so it kind of just like stores them so you're not going to use it for a little while store it if you're going to be using it don't worry about it just leave the battery on and just let the solar panel do its thing keep the batteries topped off i hope this video helped with any questions about the lithium ion system um, i'll make a more detailed video on the ecoflow in the future it's a pretty nice little system if i was going to build a van i might use their products but just a grander like a bigger scale of their products but like and subscribe and i'll post more videos